Hey everybody, my name is Megan and you're watching Follow Meg. And today we are going to check out and do an unboxing for boop, the Baby Trend Ultra Sit and Stand Millennium Stroller. This is a dual stroller for a toddler slash slightly older than toddler. I have a four and a half year old and it works um, with a car seat as well. Now I chose this stroller because I needed one that would work for a four and a half year old and for a newborn. Um, we have a dog, we live in downtown San Jose, and so we want to take walks at least twice a day and tote the kids along with me. So I needed something that would work for both a very young baby and for my four and a half year old. So I love Baby Trend. Um, when I had my son, we also used Baby Trend, and I liked it because it has that triangle shape ergonomic handle, and we got two bases. We have two bases now for my daughter, and so we can just click the car seat into both cars and then it's compatible with this system as well. So, so if you hang on just a second, I'm gonna get my husband and we will get this hog out of the box and start putting it together. Okay, very exciting. All kinds of parts and pieces I don't know what to do with. I got some wheels here. Just like one of these little cup holder trays. I have some tools if I need them. Open up till you hear a pop, apparently. Found some directions. Read all instructions carefully before you start using this product. Okay, so it's showing me the parts and pieces that should be here. We got the actual big body of the stroller. Let's see, we got these. This is the rear axle. The two little ones are the front wheels. Um, let's see, here's the child tray on the front. Parent tray is the big or the little skinny one I pulled out. And then somewhere, oh, cup holders. That was the other thing. I loved having lots of cup holders on this. The question will be, are they deep enough to carry like actual cups and actual bottles and actual, you know, like a coffee decanter like I would carry, or in my case, teeth. Okay, and the canopy, which is zip tied on. So let me get a scissors, hang on. I also have my toolkit. I don't know if I'll need it. Okay. Assembly. Unlock the release lever. Done, that means open it up. To attach the front wheels, lean the stroller back so that it rests on the handle with the front and rear legs pointing upward. Position the front wheels over the front leg tube so that the hole in the housing lines up and will slide into the legs. Figure one, firmly push down until the wheels lock securely into place. Okay. Bam. Second verse, same as the first. There we go, a little click. Beautiful, not difficult at all. Okay, and tug on each wheel. Make sure it's securely on. Check, rear wheels. Position rear, rear axle over the rear leg tubes. Brake pedals facing back. Oh dear, it's getting complicated now. Oh, I'm gonna turn this sucker on its side so that these are up in the air a little bit. Okay, position the rear axle over the rear leg tubes. Brake pedals facing the back, which is where I'm sitting. Brake pedals facing the back. Push down, applying equal pressure to both sides until they lock into place. Which unless you're an octopus is a little harder than it sounds. <laughs> Part of this is to figure out exactly how hard or easy this is. Aha! Nice, beautiful, juicy sounding click. Note, never use the stroller if the wheels do not lock into place. Fancy that, bad man. All right, step three is a foot rest. That sounds glorious right about now, putting my feet up. 
Hang on, duty calls. I need the dog to come. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Don't you just love your family? I love mine. Okay. To attach the child tray, push the tray downward and onto each side of the front armrests. This is the adult one. This is the kid one. So I'm pushing both buttons and voila. All right. To access the child seat, this, we need to pull one side of the lever release. There's a button down below. Oh, you have to pull it up towards you. Got it. And flip it, and then you have your little seat available. Okay. Oh, oh, look at that. So it will go either way, which is awesome. Okay. We're just moving right along here. To rotate the tray in order to attach an infant car seat to the stroller, the child tray must be rotated to the vertical position. So press the button on both sides. Just like that. Bam. To remove the child tray, pull both release levers located upward. So I'm gonna put this back up and pull. There's a little switch right here, right below this little crease. So I'm gonna pull both upward and voila, the tray comes off. All kinds of bells and whistles to this bad boy. To attach the cup holder, these guys, lovely. Voila, beautiful. To remove, pull the release lever located on the underside. Same as the front, just pull up towards you and straight up towards the sky. Did I miss anything yet? Okay, canopy, the all important canopy. To attach the canopy, line up the male fittings on the canopy, canopy with the slots. Oh, that's right here, boom. like that, lovely. I am just an average girl and I am figuring this out, so you're gonna be just fine. <laughs> Here, to attach the parent tray, position the tray so that the hinges for the storage compartment are facing forward. Okay, so really simple. It's got these little knobbies, it's got these little holes. Dun, 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 dun. Helps if they're lined up. How about that? Car seat safety belt. Mm hmm. And on that one, all you want to do is I say it like it's easy. It's a little stiff because it's brand spanking new. All right, always helps to loosen this one and then tighten. Gotta have some slack. And we loosen, maybe? Yeah, because I would want this straight across. So, aside from scissors, like this, to cut off these little secure babies, that, those are the only tools that you need, which is awesome. And there we go. Ooh, it's smooth. Now I brought in my car seat. I'm gonna show you really quick how you can attach it either to the front or to the back. And it's pretty simple. Just wanna attach the kid's tray on the front and then you push both buttons on either side to fold it down like this. And this is the car seat that I have. This is also Baby Trend. And you're just going to recline the seat back just by rotating the bar you're just gonna click it on like so um, just like that which is pretty slick and pretty simple and this is most likely how I would use it and then to release the only bummer is you have to kind of reach between the seat back and the actual seat itself 
to find your little button and pull that out. But once you know that that's the trick, that's the trick of that. Um, and then if you wanna put it in the back position, and then I'm just gonna attach the same tray on the back, push the two buttons down, put it in this position. And then I'm gonna rotate this bar forward in my canopy, just so you can see. I have this little strap in place, which you need in place to make this happen. And same kind of thing. But it's got a really nice turn radius. It's got the brakes, it's got a little basket underneath, which is really nice. The last thing I think I'm gonna show you is how to fold it up and taking my car seat out, putting that in the car as if I was ready to go home. You need to roll it a couple of times back and forth so that your wheels are facing forward so that the bulk of the wheel is facing forward. And then you just have this little switch you pull with your thumb, squeeze here and lift up. like so. And then I have this face towards you and you're just pulling this towards you. And then there's your little securing strap right there. And you can see that folds up pretty small. So to unlock it, I'm just pulling this towards me, relieving a little bit of this tension and then pulling And pulling it out and away just like that so I tried this with my four and a half year old uh, in the meantime he can sit up here it's got a five-point harness and then he can also stand on the platform holding onto the tray and then you have this buckle behind him so he doesn't accidentally at least fall backwards and fall off but he'd have to have his wits about him and then you can also, I never do get this right. I'll get it one of these days, once I've been using it for a little while. Lifting forward, putting this down here. And then he could sit facing forward or backwards. Um, but I think he's gonna find it more comfortable to sit and face me. So that is my unboxing of the <laughs> Baby Trend sit and stand ultra millennium stroller um, in terms of putting it together, in terms of kind of checking it out. If you guys have liked watching me struggle through this unboxing tutorial, um, please take a second to like and subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you see other videos. And please leave me a comment of something else you'd like to see me do a video about because I'm always looking for your feedback. I love to make this channel about other moms and other um, gals and friends who might be struggling with some of the same questions. So thank you so much for watching you guys. We'll see you next time.